So we're going to split the electric in this house. And right now it's all together as one. And we're going to split it into two individual units so they have their own electric meter. The first thing we did was we marked every single plug in light. Light that's on circuit two, light on circuit four. And we went through the whole house and we marked every light and every plug. And how we know you see circuit four? Circuit four was a lot. And basically how we did that we turn every single breaker off and turn them on one at a time. And we test in each outlet. And in the beginning, the process is long, but it gets shorter as you go. Because you start to remember what plugs were off, and you have your paper to see what you mark, so you don't have to test that again. So, right now, this is where we're at. Now, the basics of splitting a a unit, one building, one building's electric is you leave all the first floor intact, or you leave all the second floor intact, and you split the first floor off. And usually that's the easiest way to do it. But there are some complications in there that we'll discuss. Now, like you see here, we have some non wiring. We have a circuit right here and comes down. I know this is power down and power up. So if we split these up, we might be able to split a circuit. So in our basement, what we want to do is follow the, the old wiring around and see where it goes to the, the first floor. And that might be a lead up to the second floor. So you want to follow all your gnome and tumor around and see where it goes. So when we disconnect the gnome and tumor down here, it's either going to wipe out the first floor plug or light, which is good, and it might do something on the second floor. So I can see more gnome and tomb here. And basically you just want to trace these lines. Some of um, them, you're going to know that, now right here I have one going up to, through the wall, and it might go in a second. So that line might split something up a second. And here's another one. Now these could also be first floor plugs. Um, either way, disconnecting them and splitting those up is a good idea. And, oh no, that one doesn't go up. That goes into a box. So, that's what we're going to do. From the basement, I'm going to try picking some stuff up. Yeah, I'll lean over this one goes here. It just goes to that light, I think. Same thing in here. We're just looking for wires that go up to the Up to the second floor. And here's two newer ones, but that very well couldn't be a, a second floor run. So after we do all that, um, the next thing we're going to do, whatever wires we cannot jump or find up, go to the second floor and, and put them on a new, a new circuit. And then we're at each one will have to run a new wire to that um, uh, light, usually they're lights. Most of the first floor plugs can be disconnected and must not. So really, towards the end of it, we'll be at lights. Running new wires to our switches and putting the lights on the first floor and splitting up from second floor. That'll be one of the last things we know. The first thing I'm going to do is, I know both of these are hot coming on and back up. So this is power to two different things. And then this must have been a tap for something else. 
So I'm going to cut these apart and see uh, when, when they thin. Okay, I shot surrogate number four off. And obviously that took care of that since number four kind of, you know, runs the whole melting. So it's, it's, there's no power here right now. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Turn the electric back on. Okay, I just connected it, cut it, turn the electric back on. And I can see I took something out of the circuit here. Because this is hot. It used to go up and feed this. But now it doesn't. So what I need to do now is find out what in the house has no power and uh, was fed from that line. Okay, this is my last attempt from upstairs to pick up circuits. This is the old fuse box. That's the old service. And I know that these are the hots and these are the whites because I tested them. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect these three. Find out which one is the hot and which two are the circuits. I turn the electric back on. Of course it was number four. And these two are circuits and that is hot. Next thing I'm going to do is hook one of these blacks to one, either one of these to find out what that um, powers up. Okay, after looking at this, this isn't going to help us at all. Even when I disconnect the circuits and re hook them up, they're still all mixed up between first and second. So it was worth a try, but there still is no break between uh, first and second floor. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to pull all the cover plates off the first floor plugs and switches and all the cover plates off the basement. All the cover, all the lights and covers down here. As you can see we have four going out of here. So hopefully when this is all said and done, not only will we break up the second floor electric from the first, we'll be able to add more circuits to the second floor by adding uh, new wiring to the old so it's not all in one turn. So that's what we'll do next.